So what if we took that same uh, tree that we had, and I did make a little bit of a change. I, I added a 1 to both the 7 and 8, because what if I rear back and I give you another insertion with another insert 7? So normal binary search tree rules apply. I see that I'm greater than 5, I'm less than 17, I'm greater than 6. And so that 7 would come in and be uh, applied here uh, to the right child of 6. Once again, every node that has been adjusted since we are in AVL trees, we have to refactor their balance factors. So 7 being a newly added in leaf node is going to have a 0 because I can't go any further. 6 is going to have, in this case, a 1 because its right node is heavier than its non-existent left node. 8 since it happens to be, uh, sorry, 18 since it happens to be uh, here. We'll go ahead and add 8 in since we're going to need to do a mathematical calculation with it later. 17, ah, so 17, we see that on my right side I can go one node, and on my left side I can go two nodes. So we see that it is, that node is a little left heavy, but it's not terrible. But this 5, you see, 5 can go to the right. Well, sorry, the left once, but to the right, I have the ability to go one, two, three nodes, whichever node is the, or whichever path is the largest, my depth, uh, if you will, is where I would put this. Now, the reason why we kind of see this, and it's a negative two, uh, the issue we have going on here is if I s notice, I don't have sort of a parent going on here. I don't have a Z uh, to work off of in my trinode restructuring. Uh, but I can't do a left rotation either. You see, if I were to do a left rotation, just to sort of, uh, you can do it on your own as a little practice. If I were to do that left rotation, I would still see sort of my 5, I'd get my 6, 7, 17, 18. I'd see this structure right here, and this is wrong. Wrong. Because if you rebalanced out the, the tr or if you calculated out the tree, you'd notice that 17, our root node, would now just have a 2 as its balance factor. So we did nothing uh, to solve that. So what can we do? Well, once again, since a simple rotation does not work, since a uh, simple rotation does not work, we can change to the trinode restructuring. Now, in this case, I don't have a 7, I don't, sorry, a Z uh, to work off of here. However, if I were to view this structure right here, since this is kind of where that 7 was coming from, I see that I can sort of still make the same application apply. I see that I happen to have my, my parent node where it was super heavy. I even happen to have a, another node uh, that we'll call it sort of our normal parent node, our simple grandparent node, and some other node. Now in our case, we do the exact same thing we've seen in the past. We need to map out, in our case, what our A, B, and C, uh, let me put those a little cleaner, C. We need to map out which one of our X, Y, and Z nodes is A, B, and C. Again, we follow in order proceedings. In order means uh, we would do left self right and so as we see here uh, I would see that my left child I don't access it for this I know that seems odd you're like oh no that needs to be my A no we're not caring about that we're only dealing with these three nodes right here if you do this round. <laughs> no, so I see that seven or sorry, Z, I keep seeing that as a, let me fix that a little bit, Z, there we go. I see that my Z is going to be my A, and then 
just like we've seen in our previous video, we don't go directly to y because we have to go from self, then we go to all our right children. So when I get to 17, I deal with my left children first. That's where that x comes into play, and then my y is the remaining node. Once again, if we're dealing with this restructuring node, b is going to become the new parent. a is going to get t1 and t2, and then c is going to get t3 and t4. So in this case, I'm going to move over just a hair. In this case, we see that by doing a uh, trinode restructure, we are still going to make our b, which is in our case our x, our y, and our z. We're going to make our x the new root node in our case. We're going to make y our right child. We're going to make our z our left child. And so now we get uh, to look at where those t1s, t2s, t3s, and t4s are. So again, the t1 is the left node of whatever our, our original z was. So 5 is going to get the 2. Now, what does 5 get? Well, 5 is going to get either the t2 of x or the t3 of x or the t4 of y. In our case, since we're on the left side, it's going to get t2, t2. So, in that case, it gets nothing. Now, we go over to our y, and we see that y is going to get my t3 and my t4. So it gets the t3 as its left node, and it gets the t4 as its right node. Since we made our rotation, we can make a balance check to see that everything's fine. So, as we've done in the past, our leaf nodes we know can't go any further, so they all get zeros. Both 5 and 17 can only go down one node each. Now, our 5 happens to be uh, left heavy, and our 17 happens to be balanced. And finally, our 6, it can go 2 on the right, 1, 2, or 1, 2, and it can go 2 on the left, 1, 2. And so we see that now we have a balanced tree.